Hey what's up everybody this is Dom and today we are checking out the brand new Philips light strips. This is a new product from the Friends of Hue series and it works with your existing Philips Hue system and you can connect these light strips to it and be able to change them to 16 million different colors along with all the other goodies that come along with having a Hue system in your house. Now like I said you do need to have the Philips Hue starter kit in order to use these light strips because they connect to the Hue Bridge. I know a lot of people were disappointed about it, but it is what it is and you're going to need to have purchased the Philips Hue Starter Kit in the past to be able to use this light strip system here. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip the unboxing process for you and show you what's involved inside of the packaging and everything so we can get this all set up here. So here is the contents of the box. The first thing we have here is a safety manual. Nobody needs that though. You can just kind of toss that or, or read it if you care about safety, I guess. It's, it's really up to you. The next thing we have here is a little quick start guide and this will just help you connect the light strips to your existing hue system but let's get into the meat and potatoes here we have the light strips and the power adapter that's connected to them now you can't remove the power adapter so keep that in mind so let's go ahead and take a look at everything uh, we do have the power cable right here and the the adapter and everything that plugs into the wall and then we have the module that connects to your hue bridge and on the back side of that we do have some little 3m sticky pads that will help attach it to anything that you need to depending on where you're mounting these light strips of course we do have the light strips here and this is about uh, six and a half feet of light strips 6.56 feet and in the center here we have this extra white cabling that will help you better reach the wall or the power outlet or whatever so that you don't have to depend on just the 6.56 feet you get with the hue strips. Now you can also cut these to size, but keep in mind that there's these little points on here and you can see them right there in the copper color. Those are only every four inches. So literally those are the increments that you can cut them in every four inches and maybe that's good or bad for you, I'm not sure, but I personally think that they should make them a little closer together or release shorter versions of these light strips. Now on the back side you do also have some 3M tape that will help adhere to any surface that you plan on mounting these light strips on, but let's go ahead and plug them in and test it all out get everything set up and ready to go and I'll show you how they work in a real world situation. So here we have my iPhone 5. I'm going to launch the Hue app here and then we have to go to this little dock at the bottom and then tap on the settings icon here at the top. Then tap on find new lights and once we go into there we have to tap on find my lights and now it will search for my new Hue light strips and as soon as it finds that you'll see that the color starts changing it'll let you know that it has acknowledged the strips connected to the bridge then we can go ahead and tap on that guy if you want to rename it and I'm going to rename mine to living room strips and once you have that done you can go ahead and wait for it to finish up and then you tap on the done button up here and then tap on done again but you should notice it at the bottom here of the list inside of configuration settings so after you're done with that at the bottom of the little pop-up pane here you should have the ability to adjust the brightness or color if you flip the iPhone into landscape mode you can then take the number for the light strip this is number nine out of the lights that I have for the hue system and as you can see I can pan them across all of these colors here and pretty much make them any color I want 16 million colors if you can think of 16 million colors then congrats to you but I don't even think as somebody mentioned in uh, the video for the Philips Bloom you probably wouldn't be able to see all of those colors in your lifetime so good luck with that it's pretty cool though I really do enjoy all of the options that you have here now I'm gonna go ahead and set these up in my living room and kinda show you how that looks in a real-world situation so let's go ahead and get into the living room here and we'll get everything set up but I did want to show you that when you cut these they are not usable after the point that you cut them so I'm gonna go ahead and take a pair of scissors here and cut this light strip and then as you can see it immediately turns off so keep that in mind you'll be discarding anything that you cut off of this light strip set and that's kind of a downside in my opinion I wish they made them shorter than 6.56 feet I wish they had you know 
three foot increments or something like that. So basically I have to discard all of this and I just lost a little bit of my new light strip system right out of the box. I had to cut them and this is complete garbage now. But as you can see here, I have them all set up in my living room. I kind of did the work behind the scenes and didn't bore you guys with the time it took to set up these little strips on my little hutch here. But it's pretty cool. I mean, I, I can't say that I don't like them because I just think anything hue is awesome. And you can see that I can change the color of them just by moving the little dot there on the screen across this uh, color spectrum right here. It's pretty awesome. I, I Again, I really love the Hue products. I think they work great. And I can also keep them in sync with the lamps on the side of my entertainment center here that are also running Philips Hue bulbs. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This was my overview of the Philips Hue light strips. Now, is it worth the purchase right now? In my honest opinion, if you need a six foot strip of lights and you're gonna mount it somewhere in your house without really cutting much off like I did, then certainly go ahead and pick it up. It's at the Apple Store for $89.95 and I'm sure it'll hit other retailers very soon. But if you only have a few things that each need like three or four foot increments of these light strips, I don't think it's worth it to spend 90 bucks on this thing and then cut it down and waste half of the uh, the set here because you know, you're going to spend $90 three times on three different boxes for three different applications of this thing. I wish they were chainable or I wish Phillips sold shorter increments of these guys, something like that to make it more worth it for people that want to put these on the back of smaller things like maybe a TV or a clock or some I don't know whatever you want to put it on basically but I wish they made shorter versions or they made these chainable somehow. So let me know what you guys think about the Philips Hue light strips down in the comments below and leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching everybody. This is Dom and have a great day. <laughs>